Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. Next up in our Power Automate tutorial series, I'm going to show you how to get metadata from an image file using the Cloudmersive image connector in Power Automate. This will return EXIF data and other key information about resolution without having to open the image file. How you choose to receive this type of information via Power Automate is up to you, but for this video, I'm going to show you how to get that information emailed to you after the operation completes. Let's get started. When you're on the Power Automate homepage, click Create to start a new flow, and then select the Instant Cloud Flow option on the next page. Then, give your flow a name, select the option to manually trigger a flow, and click Create at the bottom to move on. On the Flow Design page, click New Step to begin the design process. Type Get File Content into the Operation search bar, and select the option that aligns with the application your image file currently lives in. My file is stored in SharePoint, so I'm selecting that option, and then I'm following steps to ensure my connection is enabled in Power Automate. After that, follow the folder path below to find and select your image file. Now click New Step again and type Cloudmersive into the operation search bar. Look for the Cloudmersive image connector with the yellow logo from the list of options below. If this is your first time using this connector, you'll need to supply your Cloudmersive API key and name your connection. If you're missing an API key, head to our website and quickly create a free account with zero financial obligations. Then, your information will save for the next use like mine has. Now you can search Metadata and select the corresponding action below in the Actions list. Once selected, you can now define the two basic parameters for this operation. By clicking on the first search bar, you can select the File Content option from the Dynamic Content window, which will automatically include the original file in this operation. After that, copy and paste the file name from the previous step, like so. Now click New Step again. For the last step in the flow, it's time to choose how to receive the information that the Cloudmersive Image Connector has collected for us. As previously mentioned, I'm going to show you how to set up a basic email alert to get this information. First, type send me an email notification into the operation search bar and select the option with the red bell icon from the list below. Once selected, you'll be able to customize your subject line and message body for the email notification. Give the email whatever name you want and then click on the message body section to choose which dynamic content from the operation you'd like to know about. I'm selecting a few random options here and showing you one way to structure that information in the message body. When that message is done, click Save at the bottom of the page and then click Test in the upper right hand corner. Select the option to test manually and then click Test at the bottom followed by Continue and Run Flow. When the operation is successfully completed, you'll see green check marks appear in the upper right corner of each operation in the flow. Any errors will be logged clearly on the right-hand side of the page in Power Automate. After testing, head to your inbox to make sure the email is there and contains the metadata you specified. And just like that, you're all done. If you want, you can easily create an automated flow instead of a manual one when you start the Power Automate process on the home page. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more Cloudmersive Power Automate tutorials in the near future.